This shoe right here costs like $700. These are like the Air Santas. They're super whack, but. <laughs> Big shoe alert. You actually dig this? 10 too? out of 10. 10 sure. out of 10. Professor Live. <laughs> What's up, live fam? Today we're here at my house, my very own residence. I'm with my homie, cousin, trainer, Zach Sacrifit. What's good? Now, as you guys know, normally my videos are always on site at a basketball court. We're in a different country, or we'll be doing some sort of concept video. But today is a little different. We're actually at my house in my actual room. This is actually where I rest my head, my whole room here. And I wanna do a better job from here on out of showing you guys every aspect of my life. The concept of today's video and why we're in my room is because we're gonna show my shoe collection. Now, I will say for the record, I'm not really a shoe collector, but I do love sneakers and I got a lot of them. I usually tend to wear all my sneakers. I don't let any collect dust. When I wear them and I feel like they ran their course, I usually give them to the homies. I give them to Zach. But today, we're just gonna check out what I currently have in my closet. Let's get to it. First off, I thought these were super hard. These came out a couple years ago. Pharrell NMDs. Um, I'm a big fan personally of shoes that just slip on. We got the new wow. Kobe's. I actually don't even know the name of these. I don't even know what these are called. But I thought these were super lit. I actually had like three or four colors of these shoes. Um, they're dope. They have actually no laces once again, but they actually fit your feet tight. Kind of like a hyper dunk, and you actually, you know, you play ball in the, the b ball shoes. The Jordan 14 Dornbecker. Love, love, love this sneaker. I would say this Ew. is a 10 out of 10. Absolutely. This, you actually dig this? 10 too? out of 10. For 10 sure. out of 10. Speaking of Jordan 14s, love them. Love them. I probably got three or four different colors of Jordan 14s. You know what's funny? When this shoe originally came out, wasn't even a big fan. You know what I mean? Like, because they are marketed as basketball shoes. You know, nowadays you don't play in these thick these thick leather type shoes, you know what I mean? Today we're all about light plastic hard shoes, yeah. but to rock casually on some streetwear stuff, this is ill. To, to me, these are fire. Like if I wear red sweats with these, maybe a global Hooper hoodie, yeah. hint, hint, link <laughs> in description. Next one, Yeezy 350s. We got the iridescent glow in the dark joints. I'm a big fan of the 350s. Um, for the longest time, I wasn't a Yeezy guy because we came out with the joints under Nike. They cost a billion dollars, and like to me, paying paying several thousand dollars for a shoe is tough unless it's an investment for me for like a video. Kyrie sixes, love, 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 I, love, love these. I don't, you didn't even see these. I didn't, see these. I didn't even show these to you. First reaction. Kyrie sixes. Um, these are, I think, the the South Beach rendition. I think they actually only sold at retail in Miami. Wow, you know what I mean? So these are just super hard. And actually, I think they took notes from the Yeezy Nike sneakers, if I'm not mistaken, with the back part right here. It almost looks like the oh, Yeezys, yeah. the Nike Yeezys. I can't remember which one, like just made for basketball. All right, here we are. We got another Pharrell NMD. Uh, these are hard. Free thoughts. That's what you gotta do, man. You just breathe your thoughts and it's lit. Off-white Nike collab, Prestos. Um, this shoe right here costs like $700. I, I normally don't buy sneaks or $700 unless I'm doing like a concept video. So we do have a concept video coming up with these and some other sneakers soon. But I figured since they in the closet, we might as well show them. These right here, I thought were super hard. They're really similar to the shoes that Zach actually has on right now. If you look down at Zach's sneaks. Different colorway though. Black, white, hot green. Ooh. I thought these were super fire. You know what I mean? These and ones right here, I thought were super hard. I don't even know what they're called, but I thought they were lit with the rainbow and the like denim covering. Like or dislike? Um, you want me to be honest? Yes. Horrible. And not for everybody, you know yeah. what I mean? Not nah. for everybody. Sorry, and one. Okay. I used to love y'all. Yeah. I don't actually know the model, what they're called, but I just like South Beach colorway sneakers. Yeah, you know what I mean? I thought these were pretty hot. Other shoes right here. Got the Yeezy 350s in the cloud color. I, I kind of went crazy with these. I bought like black ones, I bought the glow in the dark, I got the clouds. Vans, like the white on white low top slip on vans are like my serious like go-to at all times. Shout out to Reebok and shout out to the network agency. I actually just did a campaign for these sneakers right here. Now these are special to me because I actually wore the questions. These are the Allen Iverson questions 
when I was in high school. I remember I was a junior in high school, got held back, I cut from the varsity team, got held back on the JV team. And I was like 16, 17 years old. I was super hungry rocking these. I crossed the crap out of some people rocking these AI questions, trying to be like AI, you know what I mean? So for them to retro these in this color, pretty dope. They remind me a lot of like the breads, the Jordan breads, but Ooh, yeah, it's a, it's I, almost, a bread. I almost like these more since nobody has them. Right here, Nike Legacy, either mids or highs. I'm not sure if it's a mid or high, but love these. I actually have mad colors of the Legacy shoes. These right here were special to me. I wore these in some of my best videos of all time. If you've seen my prison video, I rock these playing against the prisoners. I rock these in Asia. I rock these in the Netherlands. Kyrie twos. I think they're Nike ID that did like it's Tokyo design. I try to be different, but I thought they were fire. Some people called them the Jokers. Some mm. people called them the Incredible Hulks. These same Kobe sneakers. I gotta figure out the name of these. Like I said, I got like four colors of these. Hard though, all yeah, black. These amazing. These, these are these are fire. I like Kobe sneakers when they're when they're mids. I'm not a big low top guy. I rock these because they were good for training. And shout out to Kobe, they actually sent me these. I thought these right here were pretty hard. They're actually Jordan Legacy, but they were like the white man can't jump colorway. Um, if you see Woody Harrelson's character in White Man Can't Jump, he actually has some old school Nike. Um, I don't know what they are, like some flights or something, but it was like this exact colorway. Next we got here is like another color of that same Kobe shoe that I have no idea what it's called, but it's pretty hard. You know what I mean? Yeezy 350s, black on black, reflective, super hard. If you get the Yeezys, make sure you buy a half size bigger than kind of cramp your toes. I had to find out the hard way and get another pair. Supreme Jordan uh, collab. And I just thought like the blue, the shade of blue was super hard. And I like how this is like kind of, not rhinestone out, but it had the metal dots on there. As I said, I got so many dang colors of the Legacies, it's unbelievable. We went with this kind of like summertime colorway. This kind of like reminded me of the 80s a little bit. Nike boots, um, I got these because we did a photo shoot in New York for Global Hooper and it was super cold and I always had wanted to wear some Nike boots, but out here in LA, it's too dang hot. You, you, it never works to wear Nike boots. It's like five days out of the year you can rock these. So anyway, Got these for a shoe in New York. Love, love, love these retros. I thought these were dope to hoop in because they really stood out on camera. Uh, it's actually called the Nike Air Money. All right, so over here, we go to my next closet. This house came with two walk-in closets. Come with me in here. We got a bunch more sneaks in here. Hooped in these in India, Africa, and a few other places. Very comfortable shoe. I don't like the look of these Kyries as much as the twos and the sixes. These, these were icy. I definitely bought these for that same Global Hooper photo shoot and I rocked it with like white hoodies with black pants or whatever, but I thought these were hard. Yeah, I believe these are Jordan 7s and I believe these were, are these the Marvin Martians? Uh, but no, these aren't the Marvin Martians. These were like the Olympic, I have no idea. These are hard though, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Jordan 7s infrared and then like green and blue. They kind of look like Marvin Martians, but to me, these are actually a little bit hotter, kind of like a summertime colorway. We got the air, I call these the air spideys, man. For anybody saw the YouTube series that actually blew up my YouTube channel, it's called Spider-Man Basketball. We did like 12 episodes. And I think that these are actually like a Nike hyper dunk or a Nike up tempo, something like that. But we had covered them with the Spider-Man sneakers. And a lot of people don't even know, you can't even wrap a shoe and Spider-Man texture and go hooping it without it ripping all over the place. We found out if you watch the first couple episodes, sneakers just ripped all up and then you could see the sneaker underneath. So what we had to do is we had to get like this leather, this leather covering and put it all over the places to scuff and then have the other ones here. And they kind of like, they like zipped up the back. I don't know if y'all can see that. Standard black vans, you know what I mean? If you got the white and they go with the other outfits, you know, sometimes the black go with some other outfits. So you know what I mean? Black vans. These are like the Jordan 1 Spider Verses, I believe. Not even totally sure, but I just thought they were hard, like adult renditions. These right here, I actually uh, got, and I actually thought they were Jordan 1s, but they were some sort of remix. These are some Reeboks. Don't even know who gave me these or where I got them. But yeah, they're kind of like European, European, like you were saying, but these are hard. I rock these and I, I got compliments. And people are like, what are those? I'd be like, man, it's like Reeboks. You know? Y'all gotta keep up. Secret. Big fan of metallic gold, like I said, but these were like navy uh, forces. They kind of had the soft top. Um, these right here, Nike Air 270s. Mm -hmm. Thought they were a cool training shoe. Um, I actually had a foot injury at the time when I got these. I had to get like a bigger shoe, so I caught these and they were like very, very comfortable. Love these. These were like the Jordan, I think Jordan 6 rings or something like that. 
I'm not sure, but they're a little dusty right now. Again, metallic gold though. I thought these were super hard because I love the Jordan 7s. These are some Nike trainers right here. Don't know what they're called. Don't know much about them. Oh, cool. I think they're Nike React or something like that. But they were just really good light training shoes. The Oreo, the Jordan 6s, um, because obviously the speckle, um, black and white at the bottom. But I just thought these were sick that they had actually remixed um, my favorite Jordan, which is the Jordan Carmine's the 6s. I thought these were pretty hard. Um, I'm a Jordan 4 fan. I will say I don't like these as much as I did when I first got them. I think they're original, so I like the best colors, but nonetheless, pretty cool. Now, I will say, this is literally my favorite Jordans of all times. They're collecting some dust, and I'm really disappointed about that, that I brought them out here dusty. We're gonna have to de-dust them as soon as this video is over, but Jordan 6 Carmines. I thought these were actually hard, like on some dope, if you wore them with some streetwear that like match this and this color. So I just like the technology of like, I like the big buckle. You know what I'm saying? I thought, I thought the technology on these was cool. The Kyrie twos, again, some of my favorite basketball uh, shoes, the Kyrie twos. I think these are like the Bruce Lee uh, rendition. All right, big shoe alert. All right, these right here, these are like the Air Santas. You know what I mean? If you guys watch that, that Santa Claus basketball movie I did two Christmases ago, I wore these, I was trying to just find like a all black sneaker and I really couldn't, so this is all I got. And I put duct tape over the Nike swoosh right here and we got it done in these. But other than that, they're super whack, but <laughs> the Santa Claus, the Santa Claus airs. Oh. These Kyrie fours, three, I don't know what Kyrie, fives? I don't know, I thought they were pretty hard. Kyrie fours, you guys see, I like Kyrie Irving's basketball shoes, I think. I think he has the best basketball shoes under Nike, in my personal opinion. Maybe Kobe's second. That's just my opinion. I know people would probably say Kobe's were better, but the LeBron's are always a little clunky. I never was a fan of the KD shoes. Now, mind you, I like all these guys. They're amazing players, some of the best to ever do it. But I just thought the Kyrie made the best uh, footwear. Some of my favorite Jays all time, the Jordan 3s. You can't go wrong with the Jordan 3s, really in any colorway, in my personal opinion. Um, Adidas, again, this was a church move. This was like, you know, these might be how we're into church, like with a dress outfit, you know, some classic Adidas, warm ones. Um, Air Prestos, pretty cool shoe, solid, goes with everything. Yeah, these nice. right here, super hard, Jordan 3, one of the original colorways of the Jordan 3s. You can never really go wrong with a Jordan red, black, White, Leather. gray, cement. Well, they had an app that was like some sort of power laces that they tied for you or got tighter for you or something like that. These Pharrell's I thought were super hard. I love the all red. I love the comfort of these. They're like a 100% like mesh shoe. Did a Gatorade campaign. I actually did a campaign with Jordan, Nike, and Gatorade and got to rock these in the campaign video. Thought these were clean, um, these Vans. I rarely get a different pair of Vans, but I just thought these were hot and I copped them at the time I was doing the Spider-Man series, like watching a bunch of comic books and Spider-Man movies and stuff. Last, certainly not least, probably the most expensive shoes I have in my entire closet. Nike Off-White collab, the Prestos. Like I said earlier, I'm not gonna invest several thousand dollars in a sneaker unless it's an investment like for a video or something else, because I'm not really a collector like that. But I do have a dope concept video on the way uh, with these sneakers that I think is gonna be pretty fun. But anyway, these are like $3,000. Yeah, so there it is, Nike Off-White Prestos. Live fam, thank you guys so much for checking out this video of my sneaker collection. Be sure to comment below and let me know your top favorite sneaks that were mentioned on here. Let me know what other sneaks I should buy and let me know what other videos you'd like to see me do. Alright, be sure to like, subscribe. Talk to you guys soon.